What's happening, crypto fam? Happy, happy Monday. Good morning and welcome back to Love for Crypto. I'm Scott. It's a pleasure to have you here. I appreciate you taking the time out to consume the content. So, thank you. This morning, cheek a little chin wag about Juventus dipping the toes in the NFT market, as well as Manchester City fan token. That went under the radar, didn't it? And, um, a couple of other things. Basically, everyone will jump on the NFTs. Juventus getting on it. Everyone's going to get on it. <coughs> Just keep an eye on any IPs that you're going to be interested in getting into regarding NFTs. So if you're a City fan, look at the City fan token. If you're a Juventus fan, look at the Juventus NFTs. If you're a United fan, or if you're a United NBA fan, get on the NBA stuff. If you're a baseball fan, look at the baseball cards at the moment. Um, there is absolutely loads of shit out there for you. So, let's see what Juventus are doing. Italian football club Juventus has announced their arrival on the non-fungible token train. In a post on their official website, the club revealed its digital content would first become available on June the 27th. They profess themselves a leading figure in the world of collecting, referring to NFT's unique validation style as ideal for the same sector. The post confirms that their first NFT will be a three-dimensional, high-definition replica of the team's home shirt for the upcoming season. It will commemorate 10 years since the inauguration of the Alan Stadium, Juventus FC's home ground. The NFT will also pay tribute to some of the team's most legendary players and Juventus' current team members will sign the shirt NFT. A tweet from the club's official Twitter confirmed the shirt will be auctioned from NFT Pro. However, the team added in their statement that they would reveal the full details nearer the auction date. At the end of that official statement, Juventus also clarified their awareness of blockchain's energy consumption and environmental impact. As such, they revealed that they would utilize the sustainable palm protocol for their NFT collection. So everyone's throwing that in at the moment. All the power, all the power consumption. The sport world continues to embrace crypto. Oh, yeah. This announcement comes as the latest in a string of crypto sector partnerships that Juventus has announced recently. Back in February, the turning based club signed a licensing deal with blockchain fantasy football game Sorera. Sorare. 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 So rare. <laughs> a game that has since released an NFT collection of its own in collaboration with the French national football team. So rare scored, or has secured, should I say, over 140 licensed teams in total, including Juventus, but also the likes of Bayern Munich, Liverpool, and Real Madrid. Meanwhile, a number of major football clubs, such as Manchester City, AC Milan, and FC Barcelona, have been attempted to recoup some of their losses that the COVID-19 pandemic inflicted, more specifically by releasing digital tokens for fan engagement. However, recent reports revealed that not all fans are as engaged as the teams made like with the fan tokens meeting divided opinions. Physical sport is not the only sector partnering up with crypto, but esports too. Sam Bankman Friends Exchange FTX entered into a 10-year, 210 million commitment with the TSM esports brand. A deal described as the largest in esports history. This announcement came around the same time that the NBA, the, the NBA stadium, formerly known as the American Airlines Arena, became the FTX Arena. At the same time, FTX revealed the $21 million a year they will be paying TSM is twice the amount paid to rename the NBA stadium. Super interesting, and I'm telling you now, it is only a matter of time till every club in the world has NFTs. It's only a matter of time till every club and every country within every sport in the world has got NFTs. Every athlete, every artist, every show, every movie, every game, every IP, everything that can be owned. 
everything, mate. So Manchester City Football Club, I mean, this is back in March. This went under my radar, mate. Manchester City Football Club has partnered with us. Socios or Socios. S-O-C-I-O-S dot com. Socios. Would it be so Socios? Socios? I don't know. Anyway, Socios to launch City Fan Token. Fans can use the tokens to collect rewards, access promotions, play mobile games and vote on the club's polls. Other clubs that have signed deals with Socios include FC Barcelona, Juventus, AC Milan, Paris Saint-Germain. But this is the first UK Premier League club. The partnerships between soccer clubs and blockchain-based solutions have become increasingly popular during the COVID-19 pandemic with gates closed and seasons uh, postponed. For part of the year, clubs had to find new revenue sources and innovate strategies to keep fans engaged. The partnership with City will reward all registered fans with one free City token. The digital solution also addresses geographical challenges and promotes a global expansion of the team's fan base. So in a statement, they said, we recognise the significant interest in blockchain and the opportunity it provides us to engage further our global fan base. And we are confident that Manchester City fan token, <coughs> excuse me, will provide a popular addition to our digital lineup. In addition to the deal with Sokios, last December, Man City signed a partnership with Animoco. A blockchain mini series games collectibles. Interesting. Ledger Insights asked the club about the potential crossover between the two contracts. The key difference is that Sokios is a fungible tradable token, whereas Animoca is a non fungible collectible. Interesting. We're also going to develop games with Animoca, so that's slightly different scope. It's the non-fungible tokens and collectibles where fans get some content ownership rights that have captured the public's imagination this year. Dapper's Lab NBA Top Shot has led the pack, transacting 290 million in NFT sales and resales in the last 30 days. In the soccer world, so rare is the leading sports collectible platform, promoting fantasy football games of 126 football clubs signed up. Its sales in the last 30 days were 17 million. So top clubs such as Juventus, PSG, Atletico Madrid, AC Milan have partnerships with both Soul Rare and Sokios. In addition, Sokios also has partnerships in the gaming and sports fighting industry. Is all is booming. Perhaps in part because of the Manchester City deal. Chili's, the company that runs Sokios, has its own digital currency, which is among the top 35 cryptocurrencies in the market cap, 3.3 billion. However, at the start of March, before the city deal, the figure was less than one tenth for that. Around the same time, Chili's announced plans to target US sports leagues. So the Chili's token, since this news actually broke, is times 10, apparently. <sighs> We can't buy them all, guys, but try and buy them all, just in case. You never know which one's going to blow any given day. It's it's the future. NFTs, non-fungible tokens, collectibles. I mean, the, the Man City token is $12.60 free, blood. I mean, it, it released... Looks like it released at around $22.00. Went up to near near thirty five dollars. Now it's down to twelve dollars. You need exposure on something like this. You need discount on something like this. So if I was gonna go and buy a full kit from the City Mega Store or United Mega Store, and it gets to the Mega Store. And like when they used to do with your membership cards and like, oh, if you re register for the card and you'll get 10% off, or register for the card, you get 15% off. It'll be a shame. Oh, excuse me, sailor. I feel it'll be the same, but with crypto this time, or it should be, could be, 
You walk into a mega store, you're like, I want to buy that. It's 80 quid. They're like, oh, Mr. Price, 80 pound that. But if you purchase some of our crypto from the website, you'll actually get it 10% off in purchasing with, with the fan token. Also, if you hold fan tokens, you can also vote in, 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 in club mechanisms and how we do this and how we do that. And maybe even the fucking food menu. In, in, in the restaurants and shit. Who knows what they're going to let you vote on. Probably not going to let you vote on next week's lineup. But it makes me wonder. If I went to City Stadium and started asking people. Oh, have you heard Man City's got a blockchain token? Have you heard, that, have you heard your club's got a blockchain token? I wonder how many people had actually realised they had a token. Why it's so expensive... I've got no idea. I've got no idea. The token should be about 20p. For some reason, it's fucking $12. It's been 30 odd dollars. It's absolute madness, mate. Absolute madness, mate. Let's just go and have a look. Can we get... AC Milan fan token. Seven dollars. Juventus fan token. Eight dollars. PSG fan token. Fourteen dollars. Oh damn! Damn! PSG's damn been up to fifty. PSG's chart. Now nah, this is going to be interesting. This we're going to flick back through looking at the charts but but there's PSG fan token chart massive correction there but it looks healthy looks healthy I'm going to pull it back to Juventus chart massive correction but looks healthy looks healthy mate keep going lad Excuse me, AC Milan's token. Oh, cons oh, consolidation. That's just sideways, yeah. Not necessarily good, not necessarily bad. Man City's fucking token, $12.64. Look at that poor bastard. Look at that poor bastard, sitter. You poor bastard. Don't ask me why. Cities is red. Looking a little unhealthy there, lad. <laughs> and um, But Juventus, Paris Saint-Germain. Paris Saint-Germain's look, look, $56, not long ago. Could have been calling that flaming top. Jesus. The takeaway is, clubs are getting in on it. The takeaway is, fan tokens are emerging way under the radar. Yeah? We've got football clubs getting in in the blockchain space. Not just not just NFTs, but actual fan tokens too. Super excited. Plenty, plenty for people to go at if you're into the space. Like I say, if you're not, just look at a space you are into and keep your eyes open for some investment opportunities and invest in it invest in yourself invest in the internet of value live long and oddly all till you're ready to trade that shit yeah stake value build a pot feed the beast till the beast feeds you we should have an happy to see you and yours guys um, we love crypto we love NFTs and we love the idea of fan tokens in sport and we love you. So take care of yourself and I'll see you on the next one. Enjoy your week. Peace.